What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianni. This is Lago Fam SRT. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little cosmetic mod, nothing crazy. Um, the trailer tow hitch is basically just plain black. I, honestly, I thought when you bought the SRT, it already came with the SRT badging. I guess that's my bad, but uh, I did think it came with it. But um, So I ended up buying a replacement piece that replaces the existing tow hitch that says SRT engraved. It's an OEM like Mopar replacement, I guess. Um, so I'm going to be installing that today. Uh, it's really windy outside, so I apologize if any of the audio is not that good. I'm going to try my best. But um, honestly, we're in such a nice location in Randall's Island. It just looks so beautiful. I figure it'd be a little changed in from the dark garages I've been filming in. So uh, yeah, we're going to do that installation today, and then um, we'll see what it looks like afterwards. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. I hope the audio is good. But um, here we go. So this is what I'm showing you. It's the trailer tow hitch cover. That's just plain black that you see right there. Looks so boring and plain. And it's it duty. Some SRT yeah, it needs some SRT badging. Just a little bit. Ooh, it's all wrapped up. Oh, I'm excited. Six Hopefully it looks tall. good. Ooh, look at that. So it's just a little subtle, you know? All right, so we take out these push clips. Hopefully you can see them over here. Right, where the hell is it? Oh, wait. Right here. Yeah. So basically you just turn it. There you go, it pops right out. Okay. Let's see if I can get this one. This one's broken, so this one might be a little tough. Let me see. Oh my God, this thing's so dirty. <laughs> car needs a car wash. Maybe you get a car wash every week. You can't. Oh my God, it's still won't turn. The clips, basically they go which way? Counterclockwise, counterclockwise I believe. And then this thing, this part just pops out, nice and easy. So it actually took me a while to get these push pins because these ones, if I took them out, they'd probably break. So I figured I'd just leave them on, buy some replacements, which I did. I got these from um, just for jeeps.com. All right, so the push pins, basically you just push them in uh, if you see right here, like to take them out, like the existing ones, it would have been, I don't even know if it would have came out. Because honestly, it's just, like the way it goes in is just so much easier than pulling it out this way. But, um, alright, so that's what it looks like. And then, basically I'm just going to push this in, screw, just screw these um, clockwise. Yeah, just tighten them. And then, um, we'll see what it looks like. Let's see. I love it. It like, pops so nicely. Why does this not look right? Does it go up and in? All right, so you see these four existing holes? Yes. So I'm gonna line it up, just like that. Pops right in, and then push this down, just like that. And now I just gotta make sure the bottom clicks in. Gotta find those. Why is this not going in now? Oops. Right here, I just lock into the place where you took out the other clips and basically just turn it to just turn it like that to the right, just like that. Turn it, and then I'll turn this one. Push this in, make sure it gets in there. This one doesn't want to go in for some reason. There we go. And then just push it up, turn it.
All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, it was really easy. I'm, I apologize for the wind, but honestly, like you'll feel it. Those little push, like screws or pins, whatever. Push I, pins. I, I guess it's like a push pin. Um, honestly, you just turn it. You'll feel it just loosen up. You take the old um, cover off. You, then you just slap the new one on. Um, just line it up with the new screws. Once you put them in, you'll just basically lock it into the same pl place that like the old cover was at. You just turn it clockwise. I think it was clockwise. Well, you turn it. You turn it one way. You know, yeah, solution. counterclockwise, clockwise. You'll feel it. It locks up, <laughs> and honestly, it's really easy and just makes the car look so good. Um, uh, I I know a lot of people do like the light up SRT badges in the back, and I mean that's cool. That's just it's not my style. I like it kind of subtle. I like the blacked out look, kind of fly under the radar. I don't want to you know put any crazy lights on the car and just make myself bad. stand out too much, especially in New York. There's cops all over the place. It's just for me, it's not worth it. Um, if I was to put lights on the car though, I think I might do like maybe uh, inside like the hood just so it kind of comes out the grill a little bit like I could turn it on at night whenever I want to. I think that would look cool but other than that I probably won't do too much light up accessories on the car. But um, COVID has kind of slowed everything down. I do have more stuff coming, uh, cosmetic stuff, performance stuff, um, the exhaust is coming soon. I'm still waiting on that. Um, so, you know, I just appreciate everybody who checks out the channel, keeps growing a little more and more. And I do appreciate everybody that, uh, you know, subscribed lately. It's awesome. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next video. Peace.